G'day guys, how are you? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video. Look at all this junk. I just got back from the dump. <laughs> I'll show you what I got. Uh, it's nothing overly exciting. Um, first of all, I'll just show you these. These are just chair bases, recliner seats. You can see this one over here. I'll just pull out and give you a better look. That's just the base of a recliner chair. And you can see the framework underneath. Now, I just got this chair because I want this framework. Um, if you're following my channel at the moment, I am building a home cinema and I have a 180 inch 16.9 screen. It's gonna be an acoustically transparent screen and it tilts. And um, whenever I need to get to the speakers behind that screen, all I do is I lift it at the bottom and I actually lift it up and hook it to the to the ceiling basically. It hasn't got any screen fabric on it yet, it's just the frame. But what I'm thinking is in the future, pretty soon actually, um, I am thinking about making that a fully automatic system. So it has motors on either side of the screen. All I have to do is push a button and the screen will tilt itself. And um, I'm thinking about using recliner chair actuators um, as well as the steel to kind of make all the all the brackets and all of that kind of stuff. So that's why I've got two of these, one for each side of the screen. I just need a couple of bits out of it. But um, yeah, so that's the reason I have those. But this video is about this. I just picked this up. This here is a Yamaha, what is it? It's a Yamaha receiver. It is an RX A760. I don't know if they're any good. I just picked it up, but the cool part is I also was able to get the remote control as well as this thing, and I'm not sure what it is. I have a feeling that might be the microphone that you use to kind of set your speakers up in your cinema, because I've actually wanted one of these for a long time, but they're pretty expensive. I think they're about a hundred bucks, and I'm not paying that, and it looks like I've got a brand new one. It doesn't even look like it's, it doesn't even look like it's been open. Let's have a look. <coughs> what are they called, YAPOs or YOPAs or something? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, cool. I think that's what it is. It's got a really long cable, so that's gotta be what it is. So, excellent. It was worth picking this up just for that, if you ask me. But um, let's go and take this down. I'll take it into either my cinema or into my corset shop. We'll plug it in, see if it actually turns on first, and then we'll plug some speakers in, see if we can get this thing to work. Oh, here we go. So this is my new receiver. We don't know if it even works. We don't even know if it powers up yet. Um, and we don't know, we don't know anything about it. Um, I just found it at the dump. It might work, it may not. It's a very good chance that it won't. Most of them don't, okay? Now this one underneath it, this is the one that I've been rocking for probably the last year. And I've, I've loved this thing. It's another Yamaha. It's an RX V1900. And um, yeah, excellent. I really, really love it. It's um. A really cool um, amp. It's always. I'm not sure why this. It's a, it's also a 7.2. I think this is a 7.2. Um, it is. This top one that I just found is 7.2. This one that I've been using is also 7.2. But I'm not sure why. The, you know, the older one is bigger. I, I can't work that out. Oh, actually, maybe it's because I know that this is, each channel is 140 watts, whereas this one is, I'm pretty sure, 90 watts. So that might have something to do with it. But anyway, this top one, like I mentioned before, it's an Atmos receiver. So I'd love to know what all this Atmos stuff's about. So let's let's turn it on. Let's see if it actually powers up first of all. So what I've decided to do is I am going to pull the. I'm going to turn this one off first. I'm just gonna pull the plug out of the back of that one and plug it in the back of this one. You tell me if it turns on or not. It may, it may not turn on, I might need to press the power button. I didn't hear any relays or clicking, but I do have a standby light. <laughs> okay, let me see. We have a standby light, all right. So where is the power button? Is that it there? Let's have a go at this. Yes! Yes, we have power. And it's set to BD. DVD. How cool is that? <laughs> that's a good start. Well, that's a good start. I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that it's blue, though. 
Um, I used to love blue, but I got really used to the orange. But um, that's all right. <laughs> Who cares, as long as it works. Okay, so what do we do now? What are we going to do now? So we need to set this up with a TV. I'm not going to set it up with my projector. Listen, what I'll do is I actually, I'll just grab my projection screen remote and watch this. Check this out. I've um, just fixed myself a brand, a new Samsung 60 inch TV and I've decided to keep it and this is where it's going to sit. Um, when I'm not watching movies on my big screen, on this projector screen here that's going up in the ceiling, I will be watching them on this little 60 inch TV here and this TV is amazing. All right, so let's just kill that. So that's all set up. Um, that was actually set up to this receiver here. So what I'm going to do is actually plug that in the back. Um, let me see, how can I do this? Let me just bring this around here. Can you see that? No, you can probably see a bit. That'll do. Okay, so what am I going to do? I am going to pull out... In fact, I've got to fix this HDMI cable up. Let's just pull this one out. And um, let's find the out. So this one here is going to go in our out. And this one here, let's plug this into our BD DVD. Okay, all right, so done. Let's see if we've got a picture first of all. So uh, where's my remote for my TV? Let's turn that on. Please turn on, there we go. Um, will this, should this just come up? Hopefully we're going to see my YouTube channel because I've got that kind of lined up on my on my computer. I'm hoping that's what happens. How long does it normally take? Nothing. Oh, yes. Yes, I spoke too soon. Look at that. We have a picture. Oh, that's a good sign. So far, so good. That is me. You can see there, me making a Simpsons cl Simpson clothes dryer from 20 other clothes dryers. Ah, oh, awesome. So there you go. So far, so good. This is looking like a really, really cool uh, find. Um, so are we going to get sound? We need to, s I've actually got this sorted. Let me just show you what I've got. I'm not going to plug, I'm not going to pull out, listen, I'm not going to pull out the plugs from behind my receiver here. It's too much stuffing around. Um, it's a real, this particular receiver that I've been using, all the, um, all the terminals where your plugs go in, they're just so congested. It's so, so difficult. So what I've decided to do is if we have a look down here, I've just got a couple of crappy home theater LG um, kind of speakers, cheap ass things. And the cool part is I actually have wires connected to those so what I thought um, I might actually set this up let me just put you here let me just set you here and um, I'm just going to grab these and I am going to set one here and let's just put this one We'll put it at the back here because then it's not actually covering any of the vents. Okay, I don't know if you're seeing me. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're seeing me. All right, so I've got these already hooked up. So let's actually screw these into the back of this receiver. Um, and we will see if we've got sound. We'll play that video. But um, what I might do is I'll take you behind there. I'll get a light first. Okay. I'll bring you with me. I can't wait till this is all tidy. All right, so where are we? So let me have a look. That's my center. That's my front right 
front left. Okay. So let me just, oh wow, these are really tight. Every single one of these is tight. It's like it hasn't even been undone. Normally when you find them, they're all open, you know, they've all been unscrewed and the wires have been pulled out and they don't tighten them up, but this is all tight, really tight. So that's weird. I wonder if it's even been used. It may not have even been used. So let me just undo these. And listen, I actually have a center, a little center speaker as well that I brought down. So let's just undo the center speaker. Actually, I did undo the center speaker. So let's undo the front left. All right, just let me hook these up. Be back with you. Okie dokie, there we go. So that is all hooked up, I think, I hope. I, I'm hoping everything else on here is okay. I don't know, let's just play something. So how am I gonna play something? How the hell am I gonna play that? The computer is in my bedroom. In fact, I've got an idea. I forgot about this, I've got my iPad and I'll just bring up my remote mouse. Hopefully we can get a mouse on the screen. We'll just drag that down to play. All right. All right. So three, two. Is this going to work? Hold your breath. One. Yes. Yes. Shit, that's loud. Wow. Guys, we have a working receiver. Dolby Atmos. There you go. That's awesome. It works. It works. <laughs> Why do people just throw stuff like this away? I mean, listen, I might just be lucky. This might just be working intermittently. It might stop like in, you know, an hour or something like that or 10 minutes, who knows. But um, I'll leave it at the bottom, at the end of the screen and I'll tell you if it actually worked or not, if it just kept going and going and going. Um, but so far, this looks amazing. Excellent. Okay, well, what are we gonna do now? Well, nothing. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do in this video. I literally just wanted to see if this is gonna work. I just wanted to keep it really short and sweet. Okay, so let me just set this up. Let me set this camera up. And I'll come back to you. <laughs> well, there you go. It works. It's awesome. It works. Um, we think it works, actually. We don't know. It might have an intermittent fault. It might actually work for a while, and then it might hit a certain temperature, 
and kill itself. That happens to quite a few receivers that I found at the dump. Hopefully it's not gonna to happen to this one. I will let you know at the end of the video, I'll write something up and just let you know, And because I'll run this for a good 24 hours plus just to test it out. But um, yeah, it's looking good so far, so that's cool. So what am I gonna do with this? Um, I know that earlier on in this video, I was really, really excited because I finally had an Atmos kind of receiver and I could hook up an Atmos setup inside here. And that's true, I could hook up an Atmos setup in here, but I've been thinking about it and I've decided against that. And the reason is, the reason is, the best I can get is this 5.1.2 setup. And that's, that'd be great, um, that's, that's, that'd be fantastic to experience that. But, I mean, in this cinema, it's a massive cinema, um, I am used to having a 7.2 setup. I've got, um, I've got two side surrounds on each side of my cinema, basically. Um, it's more like a 9.2 setup, based, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, so I'm used to hearing sound from the sides. So I think if I was to hook this up, then it would just, it's like I'd be kind of taking away speakers that I'm used to hearing just so I can experience speakers that I'm not used to hearing. That doesn't seem right to me. I wanna hear Atmos for the very first time in all its glory. And um, yeah, so what I've decided to do is not use this down here. I've decided to use this on my deck upstairs. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But yeah, but in here, what I'll do is I will wait until I find something that can give me a like a 7.1.2 setup. If I can find something at the e-waste facilities that I go to, that would be fantastic. If not, I'll just wait until I find, you know, buy my final receiver for this cinema once it's built. Like I said, I'm looking at a Denon X8500HA. Uh, it's the only thing that can give me uh, 13 channels, I think, without getting all the preamps and stuff. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna have one unit that'll power everything. Um, but yeah, so guys, that's it. But like I said, upstairs, I will use this upstairs on my deck. Um, I'm gonna be setting up a 5.1.2 system up there very soon. I'll be doing videos on that. It's an entertainment area that I've been building on my deck. I have a, um, a 75 inch 4K TV Samsung that retailed for $6,000. I found it and I fixed it. It's like brand new. In fact, I think it came from a shop, to be honest with you. It was actually set in shop mode when I found it. But if you have, you may have seen in other videos that I've posted, I have these things called halo lights. They're these big rings of lights that there's one on either side of you know where I sit and watch TV. I put them there purposely because I've always thought that it would be really cool to get some Atmos speakers, maybe those Jensen's that I found just recently, and um, stick them in the center and just hang them in the center of those halo lights. I think that would be so cool. So that's been my plan for a very long time. So what I'll do is I'll use this to bring that home cinema, well, home theater experience up there to life, basically. So it's not gonna go to waste, it's gonna be cool. But uh, guys, that's it. Um, sorry, we didn't do anything more but just set these few speakers up. But all I wanted to do is just to see if we could get sound and see if we could get visual you know and it's kind of met both those requirements so cool and like i said i'll let i'll write something at the end of me you know talking right now um just to let you know if this works or not but uh that's it <laughs> i'd like to say thanks for watching uh please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Awesome.